Good day, everyone. This is Teacher Bell, and welcome to another learning opportunity here on Lessons Made Easy. Today, we will learn how to draw an angle with given measurements and also how to measure angles using a protractor. So stay with me till the end of this video. But how do we draw an angle when the size is given? What tools do we need to draw and measure angles? Well, only simple tools like a pencil, a ruler, and of course, a protractor. Angles are measured using a protractor with a unit called degree. The degree symbol is a small superscript circle like this one. Look closely at the given protractor. This horizontal line is called the baseline. In the middle of the baseline is the midpoint. There are two scales in a protractor. In this one, we have the inner scale in blue color. This is used when the angle is opened from the right side. As you can see, from the right, you start with zero degrees, 10, 20, 30, and so on. And at the end, you'll find 180 degrees. The other scale is in black color, used when the angle is opened from the left. See on this side, you'll find 0 degrees, 10, 20, 30, and this goes on also until 180 degrees. So if you notice, this scale has an interval of 10 degrees. This means that an angle may measure between these intervals. Now we are ready to draw. For the first one, draw angle RST with a measurement of 80 degrees. We can start by drawing a ray. So the length of the ray doesn't really matter. It's up to you if you want it long or short, but it is better to keep it just average. The end point of this ray is the vertex, and that is point S. And the other can be R or T. Let's just name this R. Now, grab your protractor and make sure that the baseline should be in line with the ray. And the midpoint must be directly over the vertex. Since our ray is pointing towards the left, this means we will use the outer scale in black because that is where we can find zero. And from zero, we keep counting until we reach 80. So we have here 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on until we reach 80. There. Now, we have our desired number. All we need to do is to mark a point that corresponds to 80 degrees and we'll name this point T. This time we can remove the protractor. Then draw a ray by connecting the vertex and point T. The corner formed is our angle and just indicate the size of the angle that is 80 degrees and we're done. So this is how an angle of 80 degrees would look like. Let's try drawing an angle using the inner scale. Draw angle DEF whose measurement is 105 degrees. Just the same, start by drawing a ray and name the endpoint E as it is the vertex of the angle. Then the other can be D or F, doesn't really matter. Let's just have this as point F. Since our ray is pointing towards the right, this means we will use the inner scale in blue because this is where we can find zero. And from zero, we keep counting until we reach 105. So from zero, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and so on until you get to 100 and 110 but you see there's no specific scale that says 105 because this scale is within a 10 degree interval so where can you find 105 degrees so it is right here between 100 and 110 now 
on the edge of your protractor, mark a point that corresponds to 105 degrees and name this point D. This time, you can remove the protractor. Then, draw a ray by connecting the vertex to point D. The corner formed is our angle, and just indicate the size of the angle that is 105 degrees. And there you have it. Angle DEF, that is 105 degrees. But how do you draw an angle that is over 180 degrees, considering the maximum scale in the protractor is only up to 180? Let's try this example. Draw angle JKL, whose measurement is 310 degrees. How do we go about this? Should we use two protractors and put one upside down? How about this? Do you remember the complete angle of 360 degrees? What about if we just find the difference between 360 degrees and 310 degrees? The difference is only 50. So I think you'll agree with me that it's easier to draw 50 degrees than 310 degrees, right? So let me show you how it's done. Start with a ray and name the endpoint K and the other maybe J. Grab your protractor and make sure the midpoint is directly over the vertex. Use the outer scale in black and locate zero degrees and continue until you get 50 degrees. So and now we have our desired number. Mark a point on the edge of the protractor that corresponds to 50 degrees and then name this point L. This time you can remove your protractor. Then draw a ray connecting the vertex to point L. But this angle is only 50 degrees. So this is not the angle that we need. But there's nothing to worry because all we need to do is to take the exterior angle or the angle on the other side and indicate the size of this outer angle as 310 degrees and we're done. As easy as that. So you see, there's no need to work hard. Just work smart. Before we continue, if you find this video useful, you might want to consider subscribing to this channel for more learning opportunities. All right, let's move on. Suppose the angle is already given, but the size is unknown. How do we measure the angle? Let's try to measure this given angle. Take your protractor and make sure the midpoint goes over the vertex. Trace the side of the angle using the inner blue scale since our angle opens from the right. And read the measurement from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. If you notice, this angle goes between 130 and 140 degrees. So therefore, this angle has a measurement of 135 degrees. Let's do the last one. Measure this unknown angle. This angle appears to be more than 180 degrees, so it is better to measure the smaller one instead. Take the protractor and place the midpoint over the vertex. Locate 0 degrees and measure the size of the angle, which appears to be 80 degrees. So from 360 degrees minus 80 degrees, we still have left 280 degrees. Therefore, the size of the unknown angle is 280 degrees. And there you have it. We are done. So I hope this lesson could help you understand how to draw and measure angles using a protractor.